expense book helps you keep your budget in line, which we all need. So let me show you why this application is so cool. Let's go into settings first, where we would set our standard budget of $1,600. Uh, you can also go in and you can add a special budget just by uh, typing in maybe like, let's say uh, uh, June's a good month we're gonna add um, a little bit more in for our special budget we can also do one for other months so let's do for July we've got different budgets here uh, and we can set those budgets individually per month here we can go and change the allocated dollar amounts for each of those budgets so or you don't necessarily have to do that you can get rid of these and you can just leave it up to being a sixteen hundred dollar budget or whatever dollar amount you set the dollar amount by tapping here and then going in and editing these standard budget items and then of course they total that dollar amount down there so I've left it at the defaults that the app comes with but I could easily go in and make changes perhaps say I want to increase my furnishings budget uh, to 150 because I typically spend that much or whatever on furnishings for example so very easy to do that it's also easy to add new categories let's say I want to add a category for Apple stuff because I really need uh, an Apple budget otherwise I'll spend too much money I tap on that field and I could type in a dollar amount uh, so let's just say hundred dollars which wouldn't really get me a whole lot at Apple but I'll dream that's what I'll do so now that I've added that item you can see that it's increased my budget to 1750 from 1650 to 1750 uh, for that standard budget so of course if I was just going to be budgeting for one month I can go in and create a new budget perhaps I needed to add in some extra money into my budget for the iPhone 4 coming out I could go ahead and create a custom budget okay let's go back to our settings here very simple we can change our tags our tags could be anything from how you paid for it to whether or not it uh, is a recurring expense or uh, a waste product I mean there's anything that you can add in here you can add these and of course change the order of them or delete or remove them I would probably use credit card and cash most of the time uh, none of these other items probably would be too applicable to me so I could go and delete those uh, or of course just add new ones the user interface makes it easy to go and update these to fit exactly how I want the app to look I can go and of course change the list order the uh, photos maximum of the slider lots of different things the graphs tables I can add a passcode lock very cool um, and then of course how do you want that exported you can set that right here we can also go and default our settings and then send by email very easy to do that alright so let's go and take a look at the basic features as you can see I've added a couple of things here to my budget I added a flashcard that I bought for the purpose of a hobby I have some gasoline that I added for transportation for my vehicle I bought some uh, Purell hand sanitizer added that and then of course I have my iPhone 4 added to my hobby uh, my hobby category and so those are coming out of my budget so I can also go and jump to previous months here let's jump to May oh look an iPad in May so as you can see this has been a intense budgeting time for me when it comes to Apple stuff so let's go back to our month of June and add a new item let's just tap on the plus and I can go and add a photo so I've already selected a photo it is for a rock star which is how I power myself through the day and it is a food item and so I can go with the slider and I can slide up the dollar amount remember that thirty dollar minimum I can set that in the settings to be whatever dollar amount I want so obviously the higher the number there the more sensitive the slider is going to be I can also tap there and type in a dollar amount perhaps that was two dollars and forty nine cents to be exact and then hit equals and it goes ahead and enters that here I would select from any of my categories you can see my Apple category shows up there I can type in a name so I'll just go ahead and type in Rockstar hit done I'll go ahead and leave the date for today's date and then under memo you can actually type in a memo message and then those tags that we created you would put in here as well so I'll just put in cash because that's how I paid for it and I'll hit done now before we're done here we can copy this item divide it move it to last or mail this item what's cool here is that if you entered in 
a budget item and you needed to split it, you can divide that item between two different things. Maybe half of that uh, item fits in one category, half of it fits in another. Divide it, put the price in the appropriate categories. You can also copy this item. So if it's something that you do quite often, uh, but it's not reoccurring, you can copy it and that saves you the time of having to enter in that information and photo again. So when I'm done, I'll just go ahead and hit plus and it goes and adds that item and then brings me to uh, the, the section to, of course, add another item. What's really awesome is the graph. So now you can see I have my graph for the month of June. I can change the graph view and get a daily history, which is pretty neat. It shows me little image thumbnails here, shows me my daily or my monthly budget, and I can zoom through and see previous months as well. And then also view from by day. So as you can see, most of these items I have added today on the 21st. And as we zoom around, these will start to fill up too and these icons of your images or the icon color for the category will show up in that section. I can also hit the back here to go to my previous month view and see that there was an iPad purchased on the 10th right here and my budget jumped. You can see the color fill here jumps and the color fill continues to jump and fills up with the appropriate color for that category that you selected. Very, very neat feature. We also have uh, another feature on this. If you tap and hold, it gives you a little icon you can see here that drags around and shows you a little bit more information about that category. If I let off, it shows me even more detailed information about that category and what was purchased in it. You can also go and view a category analysis and a monthly history here as well. Let's go into table view. So now you can view a table view based on our tags. You can see I've got tags selected right here. We've got based on our budget categories, based on our balance, and then based on our expenses. Under search, I can search from date range, the amount, category, item name, or note, and then also sort the order here, starting with oldest, newest, most expensive, or with the cheapest. Then, of course, we can export, send by email. I could send all items for this month, tap that, or I can send both months. See the check marks here? Let's select one and hit send. And so what it's doing is it is exporting that information and attaching it as a CSV. So something that I can open up in Excel or even in numbers on the Mac. So very cool to simply email that off. And then we have an expense report to use for our own personal records. Also as a good backup for the data in this application as well. At all times, you'll see your bar down here saying what's your balance you have left and then the total that you've used. Very cool, you can tap on there. It gives you a little bit of a breakdown. Very neat application. So I've yet to see an application that allows you to have such a vis visual perspective on your budget. For those of you that like visu visuals, this is an app for you. You're gonna love the way that it works and how it feels. I think that it is a great budgeting application. Something that we all need to have on our iPhone is a budgeting application. So definitely check it out. I think you're gonna like it. Get expense book in the App Store today.